Hi, this is Mel. My um, <clears throat> real name is Ramel in Wakai, uh, but I like to say just call me Mel. Um, I own a business called Dallas Sports Recovery. Now, I also am a sports performance uh, coach in terms of training for triathletes, uh, rehabilitation stuff in terms of treatments and everything, um, which there's a number of treatments, active release technique, Graston, um, as well as uh, using blood flow restriction, uh, different devices and modalities and machines, the HIPAA mat, the laser, the class for laser, all that stuff. We have a concierge doc, sports psychologist, uh, registered dietitian. We also have a telehealth type uh, um, you know, implementation for medical right now, uh, which, which they're actually enjoying. But So I am also fortunate to have a unique role within the strength conditioning field. Uh, my background, I do have a master's in exercise science, um, uh, formerly strength conditioning coach for a university. Um, I used to actually work at Northern Illinois University too. Um, and then private setting, uh, did a couple of internships in different locations. Uh, it used to be called Athletes Performance, but Exos is it. I then went on to work uh, as a sports therapist for Exos and some other people because uh, more contract labor and stuff like that. I'm also an Army medical officer, so I oversee healthcare operations, uh, your dietetics, physical therapy, um, your, your actual emergency medical care, your 68 whiskeys, as well as tactical operations for special operations groups in terms of treatments and modalities and stuff like that for them, which, which, is, which is very fun because uh, we do get to fly around on helicopters and all that stuff. And then I also have a unique role with uh, SMU which is a division one university. It's a private university, uh, which, which just means the, the budget's allocated differently. So I'm able to, uh, for all athletes, do active release technique as the senior provider for ART, as well as uh, sports performance uh, slash sports scientist consulting for coaches, as well as to collaborate with the strength conditioning staff. So possessing the CSCS has uh, opened up doors to connect on that level where I don't necessarily do the strength conditioning. I identify weaknesses and faults. Things like uh, there's a flexor lissus longus of the big toe not fire for an athlete where they're constantly talking about hip immobility. Uh, how do we treat those areas as well as the hip and uh, hip impingements for even equestrian athletes and how to constantly treat that inside the training uh, field. So the same thing I do with the, the military, but uh, for, for all athletes at SMU too. And then I look at, um, because I'm saying this is in the strength, I look at how I'm trying to bridge the gap between physical therapy and sports performance, because there's a huge gap on recovery, not transitioning to performance. And I am in between those to bridge that gap from physical therapy rehab, which I have a post ACL um, rehab athlete coming in a little bit that's going to Texas A&M for soccer. So I can see anywhere from a pro athlete in a day to a college athlete, to a high school athlete, to a 76, well, he was just 74. 74 year old uh, gentleman. So I have all those spectrums, including in ballet. And my limitation in that is uh, usually being a stickler for numbers and wanting to see certain things that um, I, I wanna measure, but budget wise, I cannot. Um, like for instance, for my ballet athletes, which I would like to talk to the staff about this, but they're experiencing relative energy efficiency syndrome. And there's a way we can identify certain things in their training volume, uh, which they're not even implementing like a periodized training uh, you know, routine, as well as their pelvic floor issues with pelvic floor dysfunction that I would like to address. Those are some of the things that within this training uh, uh, course, I would like to look at more. And then some of the things I would like to learn uh, truly is how to implement the rehab uh, that I'm trying to implement for triathletes and endurance athletes, which is where I want to segue into. That's the program I'm going to be going into uh, for the project is because I'm an Ironman athlete myself. Although I played basketball in college, I am looking to um, mainly do the sport that I do. Uh, and then the tactical world uh, clearly would be something I'd be picking up along the way to do more. It's just, uh, I've been in the military 15 years, so I am uh, trying to limit my depression with the military. <laughs> no, but I will do something in the military. It's just more like I, I wanna do uh, this project uh, for the endurance community so I can get that moving forward and then focus more on the tactical community uh, because I'm an uh, army medical officer. So our, our research, which 
you've probably read in uh, Dr. Dawes has probably talked about constantly, uh, USARIAN, uh, US uh, Army Research Institute. So all those things that kind of work and collaborate with all those guys. But excited about the course and looking to learn more. Okay, see you guys soon.